What's up guys, it's Adrian's Weather Forecast, and in this video, I will be doing my winter forecast for 2018-19, update number 3. So let's just head for the video, I'm sorry if I posted my video late. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go in the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell, and thank you guys so much for 107 subscribers. Hopefully we can get up to more. So basically, this is what the ocean water looks like right now. As you can see, there's warmer temperatures in the middle Pacific Ocean. So that's basically typical El Nino. But since they're higher up, it's a week or a, not a week, a Modokai El Nino. So just look at the ocean there. And yeah. Okay, so basically, this is what an El Nino would do. In the blue there, you have cool temperatures. And in the green there, you have wet in the yellowish color you have dry and in the orange you have warm so i see you'll be warmer in the in the north and drier in the midwest and cool in the southeast and the wet parts of the southwest in the south so basically what that will do it will oh sorry guys for the camera being so low okay there we go so basically this is a 2018-2019 look like uh, outlook. If you are in the blue right there, that is frigid and snowy winter. And if you are under the jet stream or not in the jet stream outside of it, you will not get a frigid or snowy winter. So, for example, you have South Dakota is in there. We have Wisconsin. We have New York. We have West Virginia, we have Georgia, we have Arkansas, all those. And if you have snowflakes or little white dots, that means snowy. And obviously, you're in the frigid because there's icicles there. So that's what the, well, that's what a typical will look like. So what I was talking to you guys about this. So when this little blue here meets, when the blue, oh, sorry, guys. When the, I forgot it was touchscreen. When the cool, the blue, that's the cool, when the cool meets up with the wet, it makes, so it's basically warm, wet, and cool. So when those meet, it brings snow for the southeast, because it's cooler for the southeast. And so this, don't, don't look at the Friday, Saturday, this was just a storm, which happened because of that. I picked the storm. This happened in 2014. And as you see, it will bring snow in the north, the parts of the north southeast. That doesn't make sense. Parts of north southeast, but so not Louisiana, not South Mississippi, not South Georgia. And then you see in the other southern part, it will be icy mix, which that's the only. Yeah, and it will bring some rain down there, guys. Another one, if it the, if the wet, uh, if the green guys, the green here, is more south. It would bring ice to parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, like the which like like the snow, but a little more south, and then there will be the rain. It's because it will be a little warmer, so it won't be ice or it won't be snow. It will be ice, and then there's more rain there. So let's say if you are in Montgomery, you would get some rain there instead. Um, if you're in Atlanta, instead of getting snow, you get some ice. And don't look at this late week stuff. That's just another storm which happened when it was warmer, and then instead of being they see you're getting snow. But, wait, wait, hold on. No, DC, you're not getting snow. Sorry, guys. But let's say, um, Virginia, you're getting snow. Raleigh, you're getting snow. Either way, Raleigh, we get snow. Either way. So this is basically what it would look like if it was warmer, more south. Or more south, yeah. So it would bring more ice to the snow. This is basically what it would look like more if you are in the orange shade color you warmer and drier if you guys are colder or are you guys if, if you guys are in the blue you guys are colder and snowier this year guys can honestly in my opinion it could be blue there can be at least a blizzard in the southeast that's my opinion i believe i have confidence that it will be a blizzard in the southeast not like all the way down like 93 i mean like north georgia north alabama north mississippi North South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, like even parts of, let's say, parts of Texas, 
like Benji did. It came from Texas all the way, you know, all the way to Maine. I, I just have a really good feeling that blizzard will happen in the southeast. Not like 93, like two feet, but about a foot or so. And if you are in the blue, guys, you're colder and snowier. If you guys are in the white, it's average. So look where you guys are and comment to me below if you're in the warmer, or drier, or colder and snowier. Same thing as last time, guys, December 2018 to February 2019. If you are in the darkest blue, you're it can be the five it can be the five degrees below average. But some days it can be twenty degrees below average. That's just typical days. Typical days this winter. If you are in the dark blue, will be 5 degrees below average. If you are in the darker blue, typical days in the winter this year will be negative 3 degrees or 3 degrees off. But there can be days where it's 30 degrees below a normal because of wind and all that. Like in Georgia right now, it's in the 20s right now because of the wind. It's literally 20 degrees below average. Or I want to say 20, I want to say 15. But if you're in the light blue, that can be typical day in the winter this year will be 1 degree below average or colder. Some days, if you are in the yellow, you guys can be one degree above average for a typical day this winter. Same thing goes on if you're in the five or three, same thing. If you guys are in the white or the normal map color, you guys will be normal. Hope I explained it well, guys. Um, Comment to me below what color you are in. Just let me guys look at this. This is my winter snowfall for this year. A new one I updated today. If you guys are in that ugly yellow color, you want no snow. Uh, if you guys are in the no snow area, but like you guys are like, let's say near Houston, but a little more north, you guys can probably get an inch. But it had to be lucky. Like Benji wasn't once in a lifetime there for Texas and Louisiana or parts of Louisiana. Like New Orleans almost got snow. But I, I put you guys in the snow because I really don't think you guys get snow. I'm not saying you guys won't get snow. That's, I'm just saying there's more chance of no snow. But you guys can get an inch. You guys can get two inches. Probably not three. But depends what type of storm. If you guys are in that weird, that like pinkish or not pinkish, purplish color, you're zero to six inches. If you are in that like brownish color in your six to 21 inches. If you're in the light blue, 10 to 45 inches. And yes, parts of North Texas. If you are in that little gray near uh, Utah, you are in 0 to 30. I put 0 there because that's where Las Vegas is. I don't know how much they get, but I bet it's a little bit. If you guys are in that gray in the Pacific Northwest, you are 8 to 31 inches. Twisted weather, yes, 8 to 31. I said 31. and Or 8 inches. If you're guys are in that gray part, most around the country, you're 35 to 64 inches. And if you are in that pink in the north, you are 75 to 120. So, Jesse Philbrandt, there you go. My chance for white Christmas. It is, if you're in the light blue, you are zero chance. Sorry to say it, guys. Just no chance. And sorry, guys, for this little spot right here that's white. I did not do it. But that blink spot will be the light blue. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't fix it. That grayish, 25%. Yes, southeast. I have that much confidence. I know 25% is like, bruh, but usually zero. But honestly, I can make it 25 to 30% for southeast. It can go even higher once we get closer. Dark blue, 50 to 75%. Actually, I put negative 75, but sorry. But it's 50 to 75%, guys. And... Yes, the North has a 75 to 100 percent chance of white Christmas. People down there in Florida or Arizona are probably like lucky, but honestly, I wouldn't want a hundred chance of snow because let's say I know it's the North, but if you were in Arizona or Florida, and you want to snow and white Christmas, it would be hard travel, no going in the roads, no stores, no shopping, no movies, like. Just think about it that way, but I get the snow part because I would want that in here in North Georgia. Comment to me below where what percentage you have a white Christmas. I know it's a lot of comments, but I don't I don't know. I just want want to see which guys where you guys are and what you guys expect this winter. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope it wasn't too long, even though it kind of was. Sorry for the late update. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if we can get to 110 subscribers at the end of tonight, I will be so happy, guys. 
Um, guys, please, please do not get mad when I do not comment on in the times between seven thirty and three three thirty because I'm in school at that times, and if I comment to your replies around eleven twenty, that's when I'm at lunch, so I can comment there. But I guys, I can't comment during school, so don't get mad. I had a lot of comments today, but I answered them all once I got back home or at lunch. So just don't get mad, and I'll comment to you guys when I get back home. And also, guys, around Mondays and Wednesdays, I have soccer practice. So it that's from 6 to 8, so do not get mad. I will reply whenever I have a chance. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.